Cold weather doesn't just make you uncomfortable. It puts serious stress on your heart. Most advice says bundle up and eat better during the holidays. But the real risk goes much deeper than that. Heart attacks rise by about 25% in winter. Deaths from them jump nearly 40%. Today, we're breaking down what actually happens to your body when temperatures drop and why winter is so dangerous for your heart. You'll learn the hidden changes happening inside your cardiovascular system and the science-backed ways to protect yourself during the coldest months. If this helps, hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss what's coming next. People say their blood feels thicker in winter. They're not wrong. Cold weather actually makes your blood thicker and your platelets stickier. Even a small drop in body temperature can raise platelet levels and increase red blood cells. That combo makes blood clots more likely. Another problem is fibrinogen. It's a clotting protein and in colder months, levels can rise by over 20%. More fibrinogen means higher clot risk. Here's why your heart cares. Thicker blood moves slower. If you already have plaque in your arteries, that slow, sticky blood can form a clot and completely block blood flow. That's a heart attack. Winter dehydration makes it worse. You feel less thirsty, so you drink less water. Less water means even thicker blood. Cold plus dehydration creates a perfect storm inside your arteries. The good news is simple. Drink water consistently all winter, even when you don't feel thirsty. Keep your blood moving smoothly. Do you notice yourself drinking less water in winter? Or do you stay on top of it year round? And this is just one piece of the puzzle. Next, we'll look at what winter does directly to your arteries. The moment you step into cold air, your blood vessels tighten. This is called vasoconstriction. Your body does it to conserve heat by keeping blood near your vital organs. Blood flow to your skin, arms and legs drops to reduce heat loss. That sounds protective until you see what it does to your blood pressure. Smaller vessels mean your heart has to work harder to push blood through. Blood pressure rises fast. If your arteries are healthy, your body can usually handle it. But if you have high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, obesity, or heart disease, that pressure spike can be dangerous. Here's what's happening behind the scenes. Cold triggers your stress response. Your body releases stress hormones that raise your heart rate and tighten blood vessels even more. Heart rate goes up, blood vessels narrow further, blood pressure climbs. If your coronary arteries already have plaque, this extra demand can starve your heart muscle of oxygen. That leads to chest pain or a full-blown heart attack, and this starts within seconds. You don't need hours in the cold. A short walk from your car to a building can be enough. What makes this risk even worse is the time of day when it happens. Morning is already the most dangerous time for your heart. Add cold weather and you've got a perfect storm. Heart attacks peak between 6 a.m. and noon. Blood pressure surges as you wake up. Platelets become stickier. Stress hormones rise. Your heart is already under pressure before you even step outside. Now add winter cold. If you exercise hard in freezing early morning air, you combine cold-induced vessel tightening with physical strain. Your blood vessels constrict. Your heart rate jumps. And now, your heart has to work even harder. That's a risky mix. Research from the American College of Cardiology shows cold exposure raises heart attack risk not just right away, but for days afterward. The danger peaks two to six days after the cold spell. So the cold doesn't always trigger a heart attack immediately. It loads the gun and pulls the trigger later. For people with heart disease or risk factors, intense outdoor exercise on cold mornings can be dangerous. That doesn't mean stop exercising. It means be smart about when and how you do it. If you're at risk, skip hard workouts in freezing early mornings. Move them to midday, when temperatures rise and your morning heart stress has settled. And exercise isn't the only winter activity that's more dangerous than it looks. Snow shoveling looks harmless. The data says otherwise. Every winter, heart attacks spike during snowstorms. Shoveling combines cold air, heavy lifting, and non-stop strain, which puts massive stress on your heart. You're bending, lifting, twisting, often holding your breath during the hardest pushes. That sends blood pressure soaring. 
Now add cold. Your blood vessels tighten, pressure climbs even higher, and your heart has to fight against serious resistance just to keep up. For anyone with heart disease or risk factors, that combination can trigger a heart attack. The biggest risk is for people who are usually inactive. If you don't exercise much and suddenly shovel heavy wet snow for 30 minutes, you're asking an untrained heart to perform under the worst conditions. Emergency rooms see this every major snowstorm. Many of those patients were shoveling their own driveways. If you have high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, heart disease, or you're over 55 and sedentary, don't shovel, hire help, use a snowblower, or ask a neighbour. This isn't about being lazy, it's about staying alive. Plan ahead before the next storm hits, so you're not forced into a dangerous situation. And winter danger doesn't stop with activity. What you eat this season matters more than most people think. Winter holiday meals don't just add weight, they strain your heart. Holiday foods are packed with sugar, heavy fats, fried snacks, and rich gravies. That combo spikes blood sugar, raises triglycerides, boosts bad cholesterol, and fuels inflammation. If you have diabetes or metabolic issues, the risk is even higher. Fried foods are the biggest problem. They often contain damaged fats that raise LDL, lower HDL, stiffen arteries, and increase inflammation. Study after study links frequent fried food intake to higher heart disease risk. Rich meat gravies and saturated fats push LDL higher and speed up plaque buildup, especially when oils are reused for frying. Desserts hit you with sugar and fat at the same time, driving blood sugar and insulin spikes. Repeated over the holidays, this worsens insulin resistance. That winter spike in heart attacks isn't just the cold. It's also what's on your plate. You don't have to skip holiday meals completely. Just be strategic. Smaller portions, more vegetables, and fewer indulgent meals go a long way. And there's another holiday risk that has nothing to do with food. Getting the flu in winter doesn't just make you sick, it puts your heart at risk. Respiratory infections, especially the flu, trigger inflammation throughout your body. That inflammation irritates your arteries and destabilizes plaque. When plaque becomes inflamed, it's more likely to rupture. And winter is the peak season for these infections, which helps explain the rise in heart attacks. Here's what's happening. Infections raise fibrinogen, a clotting protein, and slow your body's ability to break clots down. More clotting, less cleanup. If plaque ruptures in a coronary artery, the clot that forms is more likely to fully block blood flow. This link between infections and heart attacks is well documented. That's why a flu shot isn't just about avoiding a few miserable days. It's about protecting your heart. Studies show flu vaccination lowers cardiovascular events in people at risk. The takeaway is simple. If you have heart disease or risk factors, Get your flu shot every year. Avoid crowded places during peak flu season when you can, and wash your hands often. Fewer infections mean lower heart attack risk. And even with all of this, there's one winter risk most people completely overlook. Vitamin D drops in winter, and your heart feels it. Less sunlight means your body makes less vitamin D. Low levels are consistently linked to higher blood pressure, diabetes, and heart disease. Vitamin D helps regulate blood pressure, calm inflammation, and support your immune system. When levels fall, those protections weaken, blood pressure can creep up, inflammation can rise, overall heart health takes a hit. The problem is, you won't feel it happening. Low vitamin D has no obvious symptoms, which makes it a silent winter risk. Testing is simple, and fixing it is even easier. If you're low, supplementation can bring levels back to normal. For most adults, 1,000 to 2,000 IU of vitamin D three daily during winter is enough, though your doctor may recommend more if you're very deficient. The benefits go beyond your heart. Vitamin D supports bone strength, immunity, and even mood. Low levels are linked to seasonal depression, so it may help with winter blues too. But there's one more winter danger hiding inside your home. The air inside your home in winter might be stressing your heart. 
fireplaces and heaters raise indoor air pollution, especially in winter when windows stay closed. In cities, this problem gets worse as pollutants build up indoors. Smoke from wood-burning fireplaces releases fine particles that pass from your lungs into your bloodstream. These particles increase inflammation, raise clot risk, and can trigger irregular heart rhythms. Even gas heating can be a problem if ventilation is poor. Nitrogen dioxide and carbon monoxide put extra strain on your heart and can worsen existing conditions. The fix is simple but important. Make sure fireplaces are properly vented. Use a HEPA air purifier to reduce fine particles. And even in winter, crack a window now and then to let fresh air circulate. If you have heart disease, avoiding indoor pollution matters just as much as avoiding the cold outside. Poor air quality plus winter heart stress is a risky combination. Cleaner air helps more than your heart. It improves breathing, reduces allergies, and lowers infection risk. Now that you know why winter is so hard on your heart, let's talk about what actually works to protect you. You can't change the season, but you can change how winter affects your heart. Start by staying warm. Use layers and don't ignore your head, hands, and feet. Heat loss in these areas triggers blood vessel tightening and blood pressure spikes. A hat, gloves, and warm socks help keep that response under control. Next, stay on top of your numbers. Monitor your blood pressure, blood sugar, and cholesterol, and don't skip medications or doctor visits. Winter isn't the time to fall behind. Hydration matters more than you think. Drink water consistently, even when you're not thirsty. It helps keep your blood from thickening and lowers clot risk. Be smart with food. Cut back on salt, sugar, saturated fat, and fried or ultra-processed foods. Focus on vegetables, whole grains, legumes, and healthier fats. You don't need perfection, just better choices most of the time. Keep moving, but adjust. Stay active with regular, moderate exercise. On very cold days, work out indoors or move outdoor activity to midday when it's warmer. And don't ignore warning signs. New chest pain, shortness of breath, jaw or arm pain, or sudden weakness need immediate medical attention. Waiting causes more heart damage and raises the risk of death. If you're older or have risk factors like diabetes, obesity, high blood pressure, or high cholesterol, talk to your doctor about a winter plan. These steps work. They're evidence-based, and they directly target what makes winter dangerous for your heart. If you want to go deeper, don't miss our next video. These safe pills may be raising your heart attack risk. Some common medications get a free pass, but the science tells a different story. If this was helpful, hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss videos that could protect your heart.